Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So first of all I want to thank you guys so much for all your support and love and all the likes and subs on my channel. It means so much to me so thank you a lot for that. In today's video I want to show you how I upcycled and customized those boring self-adhesive wall hooks by using imprinted air dry clay. And in the same imprinting technique I'm gonna show you today, I also created some jewelry trays. So if you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna link that up here for you. And if you have seen that video already, some of the steps today might feel a bit repetitive, but I just want to give you an idea of what else you can create with the same technique and also answer some of your questions. So what you will need for this project are wall hooks, air dry clay, leaves or plants for imprinting, a rolling pin or bottle, hot glue or other strong glue and acrylic varnish. I used the really inexpensive self-adhesive wall hooks from a large Swedish furniture store but of course you can use any wall hook that has a flat surface where you can glue the air dry clay onto. If you go online and look for self-adhesive wall hooks you will find many in that exact same style. I'm also again using the air dry clay from DAS and again this video is not sponsored it's just the one I enjoy working with. If you want to color your pieces I would recommend using acrylic paint. But I wanted to go for a more organic, unfinished kind of look, so I'm going to just keep my pieces unpainted. And I also want to use them on top of white tiles, so I want them to be simple but have a lot of texture. So I started by experimenting what a good technique could be. So I started by pressing the air dry clay onto the plate of the hook and just smudged it out with my fingers to keep it quite a rough surface. First I had too much clay, so there was not enough space between the clay and the hook to hang something. So less clay was better in this case. Once I was happy with the shape, I smoothened out the edges a tiny bit and then placed a leaf on it. With my bottle, aka rolling pin, I went with almost no pressure over it and then carefully lifted the leaf off. For the second one, I started by rolling out a piece of clay to create a circular shape that is large enough to cover the plate of the wall hook. And this was the look I actually preferred over the other one. Once I had the right size, I imprinted it with a leaf. And then cleaned up the edges a little bit, by still keeping the natural roughness. If you don't like the edges to be rough, you can of course also cut the edge with an X-Acto knife or a cookie cutter. I repeated the same process for another piece with a different leaf. Like I mentioned in my other video, the leaves that I figured work best for imprinting are the ones that are a bit thicker and have more texture. I also tried to create a more rectangular shape on one piece, but to keep the natural looking edge I didn't cut the clay, but used a ruler to flatten out the sides.
So these are the four pieces I ended up with. To answer one of your questions, yes, you can oven bake air dry clay. After a little research, I figured it would be the best to place them in the cold oven and then heat the oven together with the pieces up to around 60 degrees Celsius. So keep the temperature quite low. I left them for an hour, then flipped the pieces upside down and kept them in for another hour. So after a total of two hours, they were dry enough to keep working on them. But I have to say my pieces are really quite small and flat, so a bigger and thicker piece would for sure take a lot longer. What also happened in the oven was that the plates got a bit uneven. I think that was because of the baking paper, but it also could have been the faster drying process. But either or, for my project it didn't matter so much. A lot of you guys ask me what the texture of an air dry clay piece is like and if you need varnish on them or not. So I hope you can see that here, but I would describe the dried air dry clay pieces as a bit dusty or chalky feeling. So if you scratch them a bit with your fingernail, you can see the clay crumbling off. If you cover them in varnish, you get a surface that feels smooth and doesn't crumble. The varnish also makes the piece be water resistant, meaning you can wipe it with a damp cloth or if you drip something on it, it will not soften the clay immediately. But it will not make the piece waterproof. So if you guys have experience with that and know how to waterproof air dry clay, let me know in the comments. So if you don't use varnish on your pieces and they get wet, the clay will just get soft again. Because I plan on using my hooks as towel hooks, there is the potential of them getting in contact with water, so that's why I covered my pieces with a matte acrylic varnish. When applying the varnish, I made sure to get out all the excess from the imprint to not clog up the little details. After they were dry, all there was left was to glue them with some hot glue onto the metal plate of the hook. I press them on making sure not to press too hard, because air dry clay pieces are more delicate than for example polymer clay, so if you press a bit too hard, they will just break. So this is how they turn out. Let me know what you guys think, but I really like the unfinished textured look and especially against the white tiles, I think they look really nice. And they can be used for so many different things like hanging jewelry or towels or even use it as a key hook. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye!